Natio Sunflower. I can find it in my container. Um, I'm not sure I've actually used this. So it pretty much looks the same. And OPI Rising Star. Um, this one might have moved a little bit. It's really hard to tell in these bottles because I've had to tape the names on them so I can remember what the names are. Um, I have started using, I haven't finished it, um, but I have started using the Kerastase Nectar Thermique in my hair when I wash it. Not that I really do a lot of heat styling with my hair, I just let it do its thing. But um, I have, it, it does seem to be helping a little bit with the bit of dryness I get, particularly in the ends of my hair, even though my hair's a bit shorter. Um, yeah, so, so far I'm liking it. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm liking it so far. The Nails Ink Top Coat doesn't look any different. I think I've only used it once over like a line on a container. I think that's the only use it's had in the last month. The Schwarzkopf um, Oil Nutrive Anti-Split Ends Mask. Where's it getting there? smells really nice, I'll give it that. <laughs> I, I use it pretty regularly at the moment when I'm washing my hair, mainly because I just want to get through it and use it. I think we're probably halfway, so it's getting used. And the original source, uh, Blood Orange Body Scrub, which is done, um, it's okay. I uh, probably wouldn't buy it again though. So that is it for the orange category. In the green category we have the Bliss Lemon and Sage Potty Butter. Kind of liked it. Don't really like the smell sage. Would not be buying that one. The CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara in Black Brown. Haven't actually been using this too much. Um, it seems to be fine but I think it's starting to dry out a little bit. So I don't think it'll be too much longer before that one is done. The Innes Green Tea Serum. Um, probably would have had more movement on it if I remembered to use it more often. <laughs> but it has made... A teeny tiny little bit of movement, but it isn't actually all the way to the top up here. There's actually a bit of a gap. But we were there, and now we're there. So we've made a little bit of progress on that one. The macadamia oil hair treatment. Um, I have used it. It was okay. A bit hard to tell. Didn't have enough of it. The Chlorine Shampoo and Conditioner, the shampoo is still sitting in my shower. Um, uh, sorry, the, yeah, this is the conditioner. I really did not think much of that. Um, okay. Now, I have used... used one of these Germain de Cappuccini um, Hydra mattifying gel moisturizers, mainly because I didn't have too many moisturizers. I might have another one for you somewhere. Oh, there we go. This is the one I'm currently using. Um, I really like the Germain de Cappuccini things. Um, so that is actually pretty sure that's I've got one other sample. I think it's. Uh, I've used the Avon one. I think. Hang on. Somewhere around, I have an Avon sample as well. That's the same kind of size, but I put. 
put together with that. I'm not sure where it is. I don't know if I've used it or not. There you go. Uh, <laughs> but I have used one and a half of the um, Domaine Cappuccini ones. So we're getting there with that one. And the nail polish in Moss doesn't really look any different to what it did before. I'm pretty sure I haven't actually used it. So that is it for the green category. In the blue category, we have the Clinique Turnaround Concentrate. I have actually been using this. Um, I'm probably about halfway through it. Uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be quite nice. I'm sure it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, the Eslor Botanical Peel I have used. I think I, th I didn't like that one, I'm pretty sure. The Cocoa, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizer. It was fine. Um, I have used one of the Lacura Oxy Serums. Still have a couple left to use. Uh, I've used a couple of the Domaine Cappuccini Hydro Cures. I still have two more to use. They're on my list of things to use. Um, the Physio Gel Daily Moisture Therapy. I've used the small one. The big one has not even been started yet. Um, let me see. Orly Angel Rain. All the angel rain, and that's where we are now. If it would focus for you, there you go. And Elf in dark navy doesn't actually look any different. And that is it for the blue category. In the purple category, we have the Innisfree Orchid Enriched Cream, which I've been using at night, when I remember. That is how much we have left. This just spent 10 minutes upside down, so it wasn't very happy with me. Uh, the Jamboree Wraps, last time I told you I was getting rid of them, because I wasn't going to use them. Uh, the Domaine de Cappuccini Samples. I still have not used the other day cream one, but I've used the two night cream, the like eye creams and one of the day creams, so I've just got one of the day creams left to go. Uh, Orly, charged up, doesn't look any different, pretty sure I haven't actually used it. Lincoln Park After Dark, I also have not used so it looks exactly the same, not that you'd be able to see it anyway because it's almost black. The NSI Nutri Oil which is a cuticle oil and it's all used up. The LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Vivid Violet that has dried up. The Jordana Quick Liner in Wild Orchid um, that broke the last time I updated. And the Maybelline Master Smoky in Smoldering Violet. has moved a teeny tiny little bit. Sorry, really distracted right there. Just looking at the last date I did this and it's not as long ago as I thought it was. I'm trying to get back on schedule. progress. 
but it's only a little bit. I've used it a couple of times since um, I last updated. So that's it for the purple category. In the pink category, we have the LA Colors in Pop and Pink, which is done. Um, the Eco Lips Eco Tint in Rose Quartz. I have been using this quite a bit. I'm not a hundred percent on it because it's very minty and it kind of makes your lips plump up because it's really minty. It's got that kind of feel to it. Um, it also does not wind back down properly, so um, yeah. I have no idea how much I've actually used, um, but I've been using it, you know, several times a day. It's not my favourite. The Satin Lip Liner in Rosewood is done. Um, I can't actually get it back out of the lid. I pushed it into the lid, wasn't thinking. Um, and also I found when I sharpened it, I could push it down further into the thing and it was like, it was really weird. So yeah, that one is done. I actually finished a lip liner. So, that's good. The Kmart Nude Lip Liner is... Oh yeah, it's changed. Just mark that one. where we were and that's where we are now so we've had some progress on that one l'oreal opera ballerina looks exactly the same as it did before um the l'oreal base magic doesn't look too much more different. I'm probably overestimating how much I've actually used, but that was that one there. I actually quite like it. It's it's nice enough. The Pons Flawless White BB Cream. I have used quite a bit of this. I'm not 100% sure where I'm down to. Um, and last time I used one of these and I thought I was nearly done, I was not nearly done. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> It's getting used. And the L'Oreal El Vive Argan Resist Anti Hair Fall. I've been using this every time I shampoo my hair, but I don't know where I'm at. And it doesn't really seem to feel any lighter. I'm sure it is, it just doesn't feel like it. So that is it for the pink category. In the black category, we have the Harvey Prince Sincerely Perfume, which I know I have not used a lot of. But we do actually have a new line. Right. It was just up there and now it's down there. A little tiny movement. But that might be because it hasn't been as long as I thought it has been since I last updated, probably. Um, Revlon Customize Mascara, um, it's what I'm wearing today, as you can see, it is not looking so crash hot, it's getting kind of goopy, I don't think this will be much longer before I decide to get rid of it. The Ambience Dry Shampoo, I've used it like once or twice, doesn't look any different. The Revlon Photo Ready Primer, um, used it, didn't think much of it. Um, the Avon, a new Ultimate Elixir, not enough of it to actually tell. Um, Blackout from Orly, pretty much still looks the same. Um, same with Liquid Vinyl from Orly, and uh, now Black Swan is nearly done. Um, I 
use this in um, a flow manicure, which uses lots of polish, basically. Um, so we're down there now. So that one hopefully will be done by the next time I update. And that is it for the black category. In the grey silver category, I had finished off the Clarice, um charcoal mask. Is this one right here? I thought I hadn't, didn't have it with me. Um, finished that off. That was like one of those powder ones that you mix with um, either moisturiser or um, with cleanser or water to exfoliate. Uh, Revlon Sparkle. It's pretty much the same as it was last time. Orly Shine. That is not Orly Shine. This one's had a bit of a workout because I decided I really liked it. What? Going down to the purple line now. So that is that one. The BYS Pearlized Eyeliner in. I think it's in charcoal, but it doesn't actually have a name on it. Um, it. I used it today. I use it occasionally. I don't know how long it's going to actually last. So there you go. The um, LA Colors Bold Color Lash Mascara in Silver Cream is done. The silver and the the two grey eyeshadows both pretty much look exactly the same although there is a little bit more pan showing on this edge in this one which is where I've been working my brush so that is it for the grey silver category and lastly in the white category we have the Essie good to go mini nail topper thing haven't been using it even well I think I've used it like once um, the oligodermy Uh, samples, I've used one of them. I have like two of them, so I've used one. Um, the Mandara Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream I'm currently using at the moment. I've probably only got one, one use left in there, maybe two. Um, the Avon Nutri-Effex Night Cream is used. L'Oreal boho look doesn't look any different um, the Maybelline color tattoo in too cool I haven't actually used it looks exactly the same as it did last time and I've left it over there and I'm not going to go and get it and lastly the CoverGirl exact eyelights in black sapphire which is what I'm using on my bottom lashes I've basically been using it on my bottom lashes it is still going strong. So that is everything in the white category and everything in my 100 Colourful Empties update. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this time of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.